Hi. Now here we have an example on hypothesis testing where we've got to find critical regions and the actual significance level of a test. So if you haven't done this question already and like to give it a go, just pause the video, come back when ready and you can check your solution with mine. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. So we've got here an estate agent has been selling houses at a rate of eight per month. And she believes that the rate of sales will decrease in the next month. Now in part one, it says that using a 5% level of significance, find the critical region for a one-tailed test of the hypothesis that the rate of sales will decrease from eight per month. And then in part two, we've got to then go on to find the actual significance of the test. Well, let's just start then with part one here. First of all, we've got to think about what kind of distribution this is. Well, we've got a discrete random variable because the estate agent is selling houses. So we will be looking at the number of houses that the estate agent sells. And because they occur at a mean rate of eight per month, this tells us that it's going to follow a Poisson distribution with a mean of eight. Okay. So let's just say then, well, first of all, define a random variable and we'll say let x be the random variable, rv for short, and being a discrete random variable, we'll say number of houses, okay, sold, and the rate, well, it's sold per month, so we'll write per month, and that's going to be where x is distributed as a Poisson distribution with a mean of 8. Okay? Now that means that if I was to draw, say, a number line, I always like thinking about these things in number line sense, okay? Then you could have no sales, one sale, and so on, two sales, three sales, etc. And we're expecting, or this estate agent is saying that she sells houses at a rate of eight per month. So we'll just put eight there. And obviously, due to the randomness of this, the number of sales per month is going to be somewhere around eight. Let's just put a, a kind of ellipse or something just around here, somewhere around eight, okay? It could be seven sales, it could be nine sales, and so on, okay? But there comes a point when there's this region here. I'm not saying it's exactly here. This scale's not exact. But there comes a point where we call this point R, the critical region, where if the number of sales per month turns out to be less than or equal to this value of R, and it has a probability of less than 5%, this is our critical value. Anything in this region, we accept the null hypothesis that the mean is 8. But if you go less than this particular value of R, then we would reject the null hypothesis that the mean is 8. It would be a lot lower than 8. So. Just to recap then, we're going to say that for this critical value, R, we've got the probability that the number of houses sold per month being less than or equal to that critical value of R, given that our random variable X, the number of houses sold, follows a Poisson distribution with a mean of 8, this probability of being less than or equal to R turns out to be less than or equal to the significance level here, the 5% the significance level. Okay? Now, all we need to do is try and figure out what R is going to be through this statement here. And the best way of doing this is to look in tables. We'll just say from tables. And the tables that you would look in, and I've got an extract here, would be the cumulative Poisson distribution tables. You'd look 
for your mean lambda being 8 and you've got your observed values coming down like this okay and you've got your probabilities that give you the probability of being less than or equal to a given number so what we're looking for then is an observed value that gives us a probability less than 5% 0.05 well clearly it's not this one where x is 0 1 is still below 5% 2 is below 5% 3 is below 5% but 4 is above 5% 9.66% okay so the value that is closest that we can come up here and get as close as we can to 5% is this value of 3 the probability of being less than or equal to 3 is 4.024% so from tables we see that R that critical value is 3 okay well that's part one now it says in part two we've got to write down the actual significance level of the test in part B1 so that actual significance level is essentially the probability of being less than or equal to 3 3 is the value that gets us as close as we can to our critical region here let's just mark that in now we've got 1 2 3 okay 4 would be on the other side okay it would be an acceptable value in this range here so what we need to do now is find out then for the actual significance level let's just put it down here actual sig level is given by the probability of x being less than or equal to the critical value which we now found out is 3 given that x is distributed as a Poisson distribution with mean 8 and we can get that value being less than or equal to 3 from the tables here and it's 0.0424 in other words as a percentage 4.24 percent okay so that is our actual significance level we often call this five percent one a nominal significance level okay but this one the one we've just worked out is the actual significance level okay so i hope that's given you some idea anyway across that problem